I mm. was in Can't Cope, Won't Cope. Oh, <laughs> I was an yes. extra in Coppers. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> Megan Excuse Scully on What's the Story, where I'll be talking to a true icon of Irish broadcasting from Zig and Zag's Earthling, co-presenter to Irish radio icon. Ian Dempsey will be I'm here. A massive Harry Potter fan. I've read all the books, I've watched all the movies. Have we got fellow Harry Potter fans with us? No. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter fan, yeah? Do you know what? It's the first series of books that I read page to page yeah. that every night Mam was like, put that book down. And yeah. I found then it was, it just completely captivated me. And then when the movies came out, I was like, I kind of was like, oh, wait, the books have way more. And that was the first time I think a book really captured me mm. more so than the movie. Because you know, sometimes you watch the movie and you just think. Join me, oh. Megan Scully, on What's the Story with author of Boys Don't Cry, Fiona Scarlett, broadcaster Kieran Cudahy, and Sinead Moriarty will be telling us about some great new books and the perfect read for your summer holiday. I see recently on social media where a father had to step out for a couple of minutes. So he put his phone onto uh, like an Instagram or Facebook live so people could watch his kids while he went out for a few minutes. With that... That, no, that is creepy. Yeah. That's actually creepy. <laughs> you, 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 try, you wanted me to sound like a creep, but that's creepy. <laughs> I, I thought it was a really clever way of babysitting. I was like, you know you can, you can get out and babysit the kids. And then, you know, you know, exactly, yeah. You know, if you buy a pool, a good book, you can't beat it. Kieran, are you a reader on holidays? Well, th that sounds like a fantasy to me now. <laughs> Some manager buy a pool with a good book. I mentioned the kids. Any novel I ever write will just be about music. It'll be set in the music world. Yeah. The musicians killing musicians or something like that. And when will you write this book? Tom, when will you? That is the age-old question. Is this an exclusive? <laughs> is this an exclusive, Tom? This is what you're telling us, your next novel. Whenever we get a nine-day week. <laughs> yeah. okay, okay. On What's the Story, author of Nanny, Ma and Me, Jay Jordan talks Trouble, a memoir by Maurice Gohan. Sinead Gleeson talks about her book, This Woman's Work. And Stephanie Preisner gets her teeth into French Braid by Anne Tyler. When you're writing your own memoir, and I know Stephanie's you too, are you pouring all your emotion into the pages? You take Do you? That one. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's my first time writing. You've you've done a lot of writing. I've never experienced the roller coaster of emotions. One minute you're laughing, one minute you're crying. Then you're doubting yourself. There's so many emotions when it comes to writing. Reading has health benefits, folks. Absolutely. I find sometimes I read a book and then I'll put it down and then suddenly I'll fall asleep and dream in that world. You know, it's fascinating. And then you wake up and you're like, why am I in this book? Where, where am I in this book? <laughs> you're well, you're going around dressed like a character <laughs> from the book. Welcome to the book show that invites you to get between the sheets. I'm Megan Scully and this is What's the Story? Favourite book of all time, if you had to pick one. Oh my goodness, the Bible, obviously. And, uh, <laughs> love it. Favourite <laughs> book. My favourite book. Mm. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, okay, well, I have to say, I think Dr. Seuss was the first book that was ever read to me, so that's always going to have a special place. And I think Harry Potter is just magical as well. And it's kind of the first book that really brought me into that wizardry and, and magic world. So, uh, yeah, but I think Dr. Seuss will always have that special place in my heart. The Harry Potter side go back two months every two or three years, a cold Christmas day. Just, uh, talk about, or even the films, all of it. <laughs> People are like, are you the film or are you the book? And I'm like, all of it.